Today is a joyous and monumental day here at Kittle. Why? Because the eraser tool finally joined the scene in the editor. And it didn't take hundreds of YouTube comments and an AI data analyst integration to figure out that you guys have been asking for this from the very beginning. Well, I'm here to tell you, here it is. I'm giving it to you. Just to show you quickly how this works, let's say I've got one of my awesome little AI generated chair pictures because I hate chairs. First, I'm going to remove the background from this with the AI background remover. And then if you notice, we have this little tool kit here. And one of these options right here is an eraser or if you don't want to click that, you can click E. But if I'm going to click out of this and click the eraser, boop, it kind of isolates what I'm working on. And then I can zoom in here and get rid of these pesky parts of this generation, these little shadows. Boop, get rid of that guy. Head over here, zoom in. I can adjust the size of the eraser with the keys right here, right here to make the eraser larger smaller or if you don't want to do that there is this panel over here where you can exit eraser mode as well as change the size of your eraser and you can see a little preview of it right there this big and continue erasing my shadows here on my generation it looks like it missed a little bit here no background remover is always perfect over to the side to see if we miss anything so it looks like we missed some white in here as well and this really can be as accurate or inaccurate as you make it as much as spend time on it any tool that has an eraser in it you're going to have to determine how much time you want to spend on erasing something to make it super accurate something like that i'm fine with because it's super small and i size this up maybe place this guy in the middle i've gotten rid of my shadows here and i can make this whatever color i want maybe a nice faded blue throw some text on this guy get a little white text color instrument serif favorite font in kittle right now copy see make sure this guy's end up a little bit see where it feels nice right there looks super awesome and boom I have now utilized the eraser tool to elevate my design and it's been super helpful another great thing that you can use this for is for example product photos so for example I've got a little product photo in here this is a little brand I'm working on on time studio this is our walking club hat this one right here and let me just remove the background from this let's say I want to make a little social post or like a little product image on the Shopify page and I remove the background from this guy and it's a kind of a jagged inconsistency on the edge uh, didn't differentiate the hat from the background very well in certain places what I can do is I can hit little picture selected I can hit the eraser tool right here zoom in smooth this guy out like I said before this can be as accurate or inaccurate as the time that you want to spend doing this. So smoothed out that edge, made that feel a lot better right there. And you might have to play around with just honestly your confidence in moving your mouse. Like maybe it's something that you're not used to is moving your mouse smoothly. Try moving kind of slower and then a little faster because it's easier to make a straight line when you're moving faster than when you're moving slower. So try a couple different things out and see what feels the best and it gives you the most consistent result when erasing. So I've got that side smoothed out over there and that side doesn't look terrible to me, but let's just say we wanted to put this on like some sort of a nice branded blue background. Something like that looks nice. Center this guy up. I do ha technically have my brand font in here, which is perfectly 90s for this hat, but instrument serif would be a good sub for that. But I could just say, take a, change the little fill color, walk, boop, get my text going. And then there you go. Nice little social post, turn it into an Instagram story, anything you want. Take a little product photo, remove the background, and then clean up those edges to make sure that your product looks as good as it can. This could also be super helpful when you're doing your AI generations. For example, let's go over to our AI generator. By the way, we have changed and updated our V1 image generator to now be called Turbo. It has a lot more image styles. It's way faster, way more accurate, so you can use your one credit for your AI image generations and get a way better result. So we've got all the image styles here, clip art styles, vector styles, and it's just a lot faster and a lot better. So 
you're welcome. So for example, I'm going to go to clip art styles and the pixel art setting, and I'm gonna type in something like a wizard shooting a fireball, and let's see what that gives us. So first thing I'm gonna do is remove the background from this. And then let's say I wanna get rid of some of these little other pixels and clean this up a little bit. I could just take my eraser tool and get rid of them. Erase here, erase there, a little erase here, right there. And obviously this is all personal preference. Yeah, let's say I wanted the fireball to look a little bit more like that. And I have successfully used the eraser tool to make my image more so what I want. And then when I'm done, I can click done and I have my image right here ready to go. Remember that this works with any raster image. So no vector yet. We are working on a vector eraser tool. I promise it'll be out soon. Right now it's only raster, but any raster elements you can use the eraser tool with. For example, let's say I have this picture of Drew right here. And if I don't like Drew very much, I can just take my eraser tool and just kind of take him out of it. And I can just do this right here. Boop, 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 boop. And done. Now Drew's out of that picture. This does give me a little idea, though, if you wanted to have, let's say, another artboard and you want to put a branded color behind it, something like this, and then you have some sort of random image Let's take this car, for example, place it right there. You could get really creative with erasing certain portions of an image to kind of act like a punch through or a mask. So for example, if I wanna do somewhere in the middle of this, boop, exit the eraser mode, and then I could put some text in here or something. Make that text white. Maybe use a circle transformation here. I could say back to the classics, center that up, and then that will be the guide for making sure that my circle is actually center here. Somewhere about right there looks correct. Size this up and maybe open my letter spacing a little bit adjust this a little bit. And that's just another cool, fun, creative thing that you can do using the eraser tool. And maybe you wanted to add a bunch of more of these, boop, 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 make this weird polka dot thing. I don't know, that doesn't look, that actually does look kind of fun and, and trendy and weird. So play around with that, definitely, and see what you can come up with. One last thing that you need to know is that you can hold the shift key to erase straight lines. So for example, if I click this picture and I click E to start erasing, if I start erasing and then hold the shift key, it's not gonna do anything. But if I hold the shift key first and then start erasing, it will erase in a straight line. And I can do this at diagonals, I can do this up and down, left, right, and all of these angles. And just keep that in mind if you're wanting to erase some straight lines or some square shapes or a whole rectangle, something like that you will need to utilize that shift key before you start erasing. Okay, to sum up, we have an eraser tool now. You can change the size of it, making it bigger with the right bracket key and making it smaller with the left bracket key. You can access it by making sure that you are clicking on the image that you want to erase from and clicking the eraser icon on the toolbar or clicking E on the keyboard after you have the image that you wanna erase from selected. Once you're done, you can click done or exit eraser mode in the right panel where also you have the ability to change the size of the eraser. As of right now, it only works for raster. So pictures, images, JPEGs, PNGs, anything that's not vector. So anything that you generate from the AI that is a raster image as well, that is pixels, you can absolutely erase from vector, you cannot 
yet. We are working on it and it will be out soon. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates just like this one when we have new awesome features come out here at Kittle. Make sure to like and comment on this video. What do you think? Have you been waiting for the eraser tool for a long time? Are you excited to be able to erase vector? We are. Let us know down in the comments. Thanks again so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.